YouTube community, it's your favorite apostate, and I'm Dude Too, here once again exposing Watchtower inconsistencies and freeing you from the prison of your very own mind. Now, YouTube community, this video that I'm doing here tonight is not for you. This video comes from me, Ethan, to the hearts and to the minds of all of my friends who are still members of Jehovah's Witnesses. Many of you are probably wondering why I am an apostate. You may be confused, angry, frightened, saddened, or maybe even a combination of any or all of those emotions. In any event, let me assure you that the purpose of this video is not to tear you away from your faith or to shipwreck you on rocky shoals, but this video will explain the main reason why I feel the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society is wrong. Before I start, I would also like to tell you that, to me, you are all still my dear brothers and sisters. And when you decide that you want to unite in that brotherhood again, I am willing to accept you. But I did not choose to be an apostate. I was made into one by a group of men in Brooklyn Bethel who assert that disagreeing with them is tantamount to challenging God. This is not true. but. All those statements are opinions. I told you that I would explain why I believe the Watchtower is wrong. To illustrate this, I will point out a single and undeniable fact. From the years 1992 to 2001, the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society maintained non-governmental organization or NGO status with the United Nations. They were members. This is irrefutable. I will not read the letters on here, but if this disturbs you, even in the slightest, I am willing to provide you with all of the necessary links to prove this to you beyond a shadow of a doubt. Now, there are many reasons why this is devastating news to hear if you are a witness. You probably know that the United Nations is considered by the Watchtower to be the scarlet-colored beast controlled by Satan and ridden by the Whore of Babylon, who we recognize to be false religion. I'm not here to debate the merits of that interpretation, but rather to highlight the inconsistent behavior of Watchtower leaders if they truly believe that. Let me read to you an excerpt from January 1st, 1979, issue of the Watchtower, page 31. The article is discussing the YMCA, and it has this to say on becoming a member. In joining the YMCA as a member, a person accepts or endorses the general objectives and principles of the organization. He is not simply paying for something he receives, such as when buying things sold at a, at, to the public at a store, nor is his membership merely an entry pass as when a person buys a theater ticket. Membership means that one has become an integral part of this organization founded with definite religious objectives, including the promotion of interfaith. Hence, for one of Jehovah's Witnesses to become a member of su uh, such a so-called Christian association would amount to apostasy. Again, this article can be found in the January 1st, 1979 issue of the Watchtower, Questions from Readers, on page 31. Earlier in the article, they mentioned how some may justify membership with the YMCA by saying that they only want access to the swimming pools or to the exercise equipment. But the Watchtower considers these excuses to be irrelevant, as membership is, according to them, apostasy. Now. The Watchtower Bible and Tract Society claimed that they only joined the United Nations to have access to their library. But applying the rules that they impose on their followers, this excuse or justification or explanation is irrelevant. They are apostates. Their own words condemn them. Again, I am not here to take you out of the organization. If you are willing to overlook this, if you believe that the Watchtower is justified, then I cannot fault you. But you must recognize that they have not been honest with either you or me. Right or wrong, they lied and have actively sought to cover up their sin. I, personally, cannot justify this. I cannot willingly submit to a group of men who punished men and women all over the world for sins far lesser than uh, partnering with an agent of Satan. Think about it. All those years, men and women have been both rightly and wrongly disfellowshipped. People were being reproved, 
chided, shunned, and denigrated, and all the while their leaders were sleeping with Satan. You may not see this point as forcefully as I do, but I ask that you respect it as my view, my opinion. And in light of this truth, that you do not judge me for my decision. And of course, there are numerous inconsistencies published in the Watchtower that both covertly and overtly contradict the scripture. I cannot live a lie. I am not living in a moral lifestyle. I submit to Jesus as my leader and guide. And whatever way you choose to worship him and to worship Jehovah, I only ask that you consider alternative views. Just because they are not your own does not grant them either superiority, neither inferiority. I hope this has explained my views sufficiently to you. And again, I plead with you as a brother that you consider them and not denigrate them. Remember, whatever you decide, wherever you choose to be, I cannot fault it. I only ask that you respect where I choose to be. Remember, life, it's a state of mind. I hope to see you again, brothers.